smile here's another card for you today and I've called this the Aussie birds birthday card I've just left the inside plane if you get right and I haven't actually put a verse on there but you could use any sticker to put any greeting that you wanted on there now the interesting part about this card is that the, this picture is a paper napkin and I'll show you I've bought a few paper napkins recently with Australian designs on them so that's one of them um, and that's that same design as repeated four times on that napkin the one I'm going to show you today is with this other napkin and with this one it has a back pattern there and then repeat it up there so you could have either that section that section or if you wanted to cut out the middle that section as your design on your card and uh, what I've done is I've, I've virtually done a little method that welds those layers of paper together because your paper napkins come as in this this um, instance three separate layers so uh, I'll just show you with this one one two three now you've got to take it apart very carefully because the fact of the matter is you need all three layers for this you lay the top layer down, position the second layer back on again. You're virtually remaking solid paper by doing it this way. Um, then you're going to position a paper towel for a little bit extra thickness. I saw this done with paper towels only, but I'm going to do it with a napkin because it's got a picture on it. And then you put your last layer down so you've got four layers there when you've got all those four layers together you're going to take a little spray bottle a mist spray bottle and you're going to spray both sides of the napkin so that the water soaks through hopefully to all three layers but don't make it so wet that the napkin starts to tear and come apart on you or stick to your fingers so you can't get it apart without ripping it. Once you have put those layers together then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put them inside an embossing folder. Here we are. I'm using what we call a 3D embossing folder. It's a very thick layers of um, emboss now what I'm going to do is once I have sprayed it I would position this inside the folder and put it down over the top now there's one little incident I found happened with this that I wasn't happy about and this is what happened see that and the reason that happened is because when I put this through the big shot I cut off that excess there but I left that sticking out and this wet bit here stuck to the sides of my big shot as it was going through and ripped and tore the wet paper so once you've got your layers, the first thing you would do would be to cut off your excess paper if you wanted to. It's purely optional with you, whether you do this now or later. Spray it, put it in your embossing folder lay that over like that now what I've done is then 
I got my sandwich, my sandwich that goes through the machine, and this is what I did. I put my first layer down, I put that down there, I folded this over the edge like this and put that over like that so that it's not sticking out. So then when I put it through the machine, I've got no protruding wet paper to stick to the edges. So once I've put it through the machine, and as you can see with this one, I didn't cut the excess paper off, I have this, which as you can see, has got that embossing through it. So this is what causes this paper to meld together quite well. It is the fact that I've separated the layers and put them back together. I've put a paper towel in there to make it thicker so that there's a lot more pressure when it goes through the embossing machine and I've wet it, through the embossing folder and the machine, and I've wet it. So the wetting, the pressure, and the multiple layers pushed to their extreme have caused them to bond together. And then you set that aside to dry. So while that's drying, I have my long sheet of paper. Now all the measurements are in the instructions in the files, so I don't need to quote them here, but I fold my card in half and I've got a matching or a contrasting piece of paper to go onto the middle of my card, like that. So I'm just going to glue that on, or tape it on actually. Put that little bit in there, peel that off first, then I can get this into position before anything gets stuck. Push that in the middle to make it stick and stay in place while I peel the other edges off. Doesn't like lifting, does it? There's that one. There's those two. Turn it around the other corner. And there's those two. It's quite a quick card to make, really. Okay, so you can have it opening this way or this way. The choice is yours. Now that my paper's dry, the next thing I'm going to do is I have a little 13 by 13 centimetre piece of cardstock which I want to glue this to. But the first thing I need to do is make sure I've got all the animals I want in the picture. So if I just position that on the back and then fold the edges over a bit, I can see when I come to the edge whether I've got everything I want in the scene. Now that could come over a little bit further. No, I'll move it back that way. I want to get that swan's head in there, but I still want the, the kangaroo in there. And I want this as low down to the bottom as possible. So, now that I've got that in position, I'm just going to get my pencil and do a pencil line all the way around the edge and that gives me where to cut. I wouldn't try and cut this with a blade if I were you 
or put it through, uh, you could put it through a sharp guillotine, but not a paper trimmer, because it will rip your tissue. Especially if your paper trimmer blade or your um, cutting blade is not perfectly sharp. Okay, now we have got rid of all of that. And there's our little seam. That should fit on there nicely. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some tape on my white piece. And again, do the same thing. Have that little bit in the middle, and it's the bit that will help us stick in position. So I'm going to put that over the top first and make sure that I've got it straight on all the edges. Once I'm happy with that, I'll stick it in the middle and peel the tape up. and the same over here. And that's all stuck. Now, I will then go back and make sure I've got this right to the edge of that white paper. If I turn it upside down, I can see the edge of the white paper. So I know where to cut to get a really neat finish. Because that pencil was only a rough guideline. Okay, so that's ready to be now stuck onto the front of the card. And what I, with the other card, I actually went around the edge with a bit of green uh, ink and gave it a border just a slightly darker border to make it stand out more but with this one I'm just going to put it straight on top like that and I'm going to mount it on with mounting tape little one in the middle there and I'll do the same thing as I do with the ordinary tape is I'll just peel that middle one off first and just make sure I'm happy with where it's positioned on there first and what, oh, let's make sure I'm opening this the right way yes okay once I'm happy with its position I can push that down and stick it and then I can peel these other edges up there 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 and there now Oh, I like that one. I really do like that one. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, what I've done is I had a punch, two punches. One gave me a scalloped oval, and the other punch gave me a plain oval. So I've just cut those out in white and red, and I'll glue one to the other, making too long. that one to there 
and you can either stamp or um, stick a greeting use a sticker or something like that it's up to you what you do put that in the middle there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this up here and take the uh, focus away from the fact that we've got half a bird there by um, sticking that there to look at it I don't want to put it anywhere else because we'll lose those pretty animals or birds that are already there so so with this one I'm putting my greeting in the top right hand corner because that's very uninteresting and the rest of it is lovely so I'm just putting that in there like that all right so you just position your greeting where there's no picture so that's my napkin card I hope you enjoyed that. Bye for now.